So today I want to talk about something that's not talked about much in college circles and that's how to take proper notes. The one piece of advice that I have is to take notes as if you're writing for your future self. This may seem kind of weird, but the guy you are today walking into class, writing down your notes, will remember it uh, within that day or within a couple hours. But future you, uh, three to four weeks from now, or a month from now, will not remember. He knows what information is most important though. And as such, your goal is to write in such a way that the future you will look back and read it and understand the lines as if it was written very clearly. So the problem with this is, how do you do this if the professor is speaking so fast and saying so many things at once? Like, how can you write everything down? Here are the tips on how to pull that off. And so first off, um, this is kind of a pre-step that a lot of people don't like, but you should do it because it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes and that's to preview the chapter that you're going to learn the next day. Um, spend the 10 minutes to look at it and everything in class will be much more clearly. Okay, now, on to step one, write down only what you don't know. That's it. Don't feel so pressured to write down everything the professor says or even writes down. If you write it down on the board, it does not mean that you need to write it down as well. I want you to sit down in class and pay attention to what the professor is saying so that you actually absorb it in. And when he or she says something that sparks a light bulb in your head, that's when you write it down. When you don't know it and it's like a new concept, that's when you write it down. And what's better about writing down only things you don't know is that you have more time to write out more notes that are actually useful to you. You're not just writing down, you know, whatever the professor is saying, but you're writing down what he or she is saying and then what it means to you. My next tip is to write in such a way that your future self will understand. So like I mentioned before, you want to write with such clarity and with the extra notes so that whatever you're writing will make sense to your future self. And you can do so by not just writing the extra notes, but also by writing down, hey, refer to this concept or chapter or this page in your book. And lastly, a tip that I want to mention is don't be afraid to write in your book. A lot of you are trying to save money out there or trying to resell it. Just write in your book. It helps you a lot in the long run. It gives you clarity on your notes that you can refer back to. And if you write in your textbook, it actually does not devalue it when you resell it. Because students are desperate as hell to get some cheaper textbooks than the new ones. So as long as you have a book that's used and it's got some notes on it, people won't care and they'll buy it at the same price as the other used books. In some cases, this kind of adds value to it and people will like to buy that book. But those are my note taking strategies. I hope they're very useful to you. And if you have any more strategies or tips on how to take notes, please leave a comment below so that others can read it and we can discuss how to take better notes. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you as it helps me throughout my college life and um, please remember to pass it on. Thank you for watching, stay woke, and I will see you again next time. Bye-bye.